Prime Minister Enrico Letta. Welcome to the News Hour. Thank you. So we're watching what's happening on Capitol Hill today. Uh, it looks as if there's a deal. If that holds, what does that mean for the global economy and for Italy's economy? I think we need, we need absolutely an agreement. It will be very important for stability, stability in the markets, first of all. We need stability in the markets to have reforms, of course, at global level. We decided to have important reforms in the last uh, G20 meeting. Uh, against fiscal evasion, fiscal avoidance, on structural reforms, and we need, of, of course, to have reforms in uh, each country. Uh, Italy is one of them, but to have reforms, we need stability in the markets. So, uh, the agreement uh, this evening, we hope, the agreement uh, this night with this evening will be very important for our future. For, and you're referring to the, not just to Italy, but to the entire world. Yes, to the entire world, but I would say to Europe, first of all, because um, I will uh, stress the point that the American leadership last year was very important to help Europe to start to exit from uh, the Euro crisis. And Obama was very important in the G8 to help the Europeans to go to step by step uh, out of the crisis. Now, of course, the American leadership is needed to continue on the path for growth because we are uh, out of the austerity uh, of the years of crisis, of euro crisis and so on, and we have to be in the path of growth. This is why we need uh, America. Of course, even if this deal is passed, it's only until February when the politicians have to come together and have another agreement to raise the debt ceiling. How much confidence that do you have that leaders in this country right now have the ability to do that? I can't say anything about the internal uh, political debate, of course, but I'm here also in Washington to say the rest of the world is looking at your decisions as congressmen, uh, senators, and so on. And your decisions are important for the rest of the world. So the, the world growth needs stability, and we need uh, uh, such an agreement. And I hope also an agreement in another agreement in February, of course. Do you, do you think you understand what's happening here right now? It's not easy. But I can understand because I have my problems at home and I know how big is the fight, debate among factions, among uh, electoral factions, political parties, individuals. It's not easy to have agreements in politics today. Well, speaking of, uh, of Italy, you have just emerged from a confidence vote in your own country, your former Prime Minister Berlusconi. Uh, it was challenging you, some political turmoil. How confident are you that your own country is now on a path to economic and political stability? I'm confident because of this confidence vote, very important, of course, but also because yesterday we approved the budget law for 2014 uh, in the Council of Ministers, and this budget uh, uh, will be the first budget after years in Italy with the debt, the general debt decreasing, the deficit decreasing, uh, the public spending decreasing, and tax level decreasing. I hope that will help growth next year, but I will say for the first year, I will say we are out of the emergency. And that is, for my country, for Italy, a very important news. Uh, now we have to apply reforms, of course, but uh, we are ready to have budget under control, no more debts. The best news, I think, for the markets and for the Italians, for the young Italians, is mm -hmm. that our debt is decreasing next year. And so no more debts, and I hope for reforms to having growth. So I am confident. Well, the entire European continent, as you know, Mr. Prime Minister, is experienced very much for coming to talk with us at the news hour. Thank you.